it is one brush one paint again because I figured if you are on the budget you probably will not not have many colors laying around so you will want to utilize all resources you have so I'm assuming in those videos I'm assuming you only have one paint and only like one brush and we're gonna create a lot of things with with, with this little paints gray um because i just want to show you how the values can work perfectly and of course you don't have to have thousands of rainbows of colors we are here to have fun first and relax first and pretty big pictures later we're gonna create cool stuff maybe not cool stuff but well at least it's gonna be something <laughs> so here we are we're gonna start our relaxation We're gonna start our rela. We're gonna start <laughs> three times a charm. Third time is a charm. So we will start our relaxation session right. No, not now, because you have to like. Please, if you like this video, follow, like, subscribe, comment, share all the things because that that would help me a whole lot now now and now i can take you to our relaxation session and here you are here we are here i've already started to taping it into my desk and i forgot to press record so here we have this tape uh, up here I'm gonna put like a little bit more here so we have this nice uh, retro picture framing because uh, I've recently uh, liked that kind of uh, thing and it's also gives you a nice vibe and if you're scared to paint something big that gives you like even l less space to work on so it's let less scary at least that's the idea that it's less scary um, here I'm trying to put the car put the paper here right in right in the middle of hearts because it helps with proportions like the it helps with the evenness of the tape on every edge so we have this um yeah i yeah so so that's that my main worry about this piece is that i'm not very good at feeling the proportions so i have vision of what i'm trying to make we're gonna paint a quick length landscape today but i I have problems with planning the whole space out and yeah so I, I want to have like nice dark gradient uh, dark sky here and here be almost white or at least like very 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 light and we, we will see how it goes because I have like always problems with planning the, the thing okay so now I will wet the paper with my spray spray tea spray so I don't have to do it with brush uh, with brush I'm just gonna sm smoosh it around uh, work it into the paper basically uh, yep here we go and uh, oh my god I see the bubbles I well at least we're gonna have some nice patterns here because apparently I didn't clean the brush enough good enough of the soap residue so I will put some more that's residue from the last yesterday's paint painting um residue from yesterday's painting I will put some water here a little bit more 
a little bit more here and here we go we're gonna go try to gradient it from the dark from dark to light we will see how it goes you see you see okay so yeah and work it out hopefully it works good okay that's definitely too much of a paint i'm cleaning it now and work it i can always use toilet paper or paper towel to remove the the water only the disadvantage of it is that it will remove the paint too and it's gonna create hard edges and a lot of problems i don't want to have i want this to be quick and nice efficient and relaxing of course because that's the motto i always i always forget about that this is supposed to be relaxing first and pretty pictures later but my perfectionism always is like but no it has to be pretty and, and so that's like inner fight i'm having um yeah okay, i can actually do that to make some clouds as i did in my following uh, unicorn crafts um tutorial follow up follow so we can do this and put a thin glaze i think and they disappeared okay okay we removed that idea from the book and the water have here dried so we have to um refresh it a bit oh uh, yeah work it up work it down okay oh i wanted to make moon too i wanted to make a moon too so now i'm gonna just take take with this here i want to take a little paper here and yeah make moon with that okay we created more like a comet okay no i mean it's it's okay but i want it to be more okay okay it's gonna be half moon or whatever or nothing okay we repaint this oh boy here we go okay a little little kinga little 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 all right okay i'm gonna leave it like that because so i don't ruin it more i will add only more dark around it because if you put my cat if you put dark around bright and bright around dark it makes the contrast contrast makes the colors pop so we want to a little brighten i can add a okay a little bit more dark clouds here little blobs it doesn't have to be even to be honest we will not make it even i'll go i will dare to go like that even over the oh yeah so we have oops sorry so we have this little effect okay i'm like fairly happy with this what i got here so now i will just dry it with my dry it with my trusted dryer device and we continue i will save you the noises all right it is dry and i will add some little bit of dark clo clouds here here a little bit here and there and and there and here and i really love like how how it looks like i really didn't expect this to go that well and now we just put the mountains in it's gonna be two little mountains just gonna do it like that a little bit here okay but let me make it like it 
the sew. And a little bit more. I will put another layer of mountains here. A little more like little hills and they are a little bit darker um, because they are closer. That's how uh, colors l work. Basically background is always lighter and the uh, and the closer they are to you, the darker the colors get. So, yeah. And, and I think I will stop here so I don't ruin it even more. Now it's time for drying it. And now we remove, remove the, oh, the tape. Oops. A little blunder here. And, and pick, and pick, and pick, and pick, and pick, and look, I am so happy with the f final result. It even the like the photo frame it really gives it a nice feeling to it. It's so nice. It's so simple. I I really enjoyed that one and it was so fun to make and it, it was very fast to make too. So yeah, this is and I still get really surprised by the fact that it was made with one color. It's 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 amazing what, what what you can do with just one color. You can create one landscape. It's amazing. Look, it, it, it's just wow. Okay, this is great. I need to try this one with like purple or with pink or with ye yellow. It's not gonna be good enough, but like with or maybe with greens. We, we can do like color series or we can repaint everything I paint with this color with another color to see just how, how it feels or whatever. I am so, so happy how, did, how it turned out. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy it. I hope I somehow encourage you to pick up the paint and just paint. It is not as difficult as it looks like. So if you like it, enjoy it, you know, follow, like, comment, please, thumbs up, whatever, and see you in the next video. And remember, we are here to relax and have a nice paintings later. But if we have nice paintings now, it's amazing. Take care. Bye bye.